You've done everything possible to make a client happy. You've set up a contract with them. You've onboarded them as a VIP client. You set expectations and boundaries. You met their deadlines. You communicated well. And yet, they're still not happy. So what do you do? In today's video, I'll share with you how to determine when it's time to say bye-bye to a difficult client. Hi, I'm Kathy Guggenauer, your business coach and trainer exclusively for virtual experts. I've helped hundreds of women just like you achieve their dreams of working from home as well-paid virtual experts. On this YouTube channel, I'll show you how to create a virtual expert career and gain the freedom, flexibility, and financial security you desire and deserve. So how do you determine when it's time to fire a client. Well, there is no exact formula and it's most difficult for you all by yourself to make that determination. So I want to give you four reasons to consider firing a client. Number one, you can't please them. No matter what you do, they're not happy with your work. You've communicated well with them and still they're unhappy with the work you produce. They might be with somebody you want to fire. Number two, they're late on payments. This one is actually super easy. If they're late, you stop doing the work. Send them an email with the wording from your contract that states what your policy is on late payments, which should include a notice that no work is done until they are up to date on their payments. Then stop doing the work until they make the payments. If they're late on payments twice, in my opinion, I'd fire them. If you want to be more lenient than I am, give them three times and then just like in baseball, strike their out. Number three, there's a personality conflict and it's making you extremely unhappy. Remember, you left your nine to five to be happier and more fulfilled. So if you're not happy with your client, time to let them go. Now, this is a difficult one to know for sure when it's time. I've stayed with a client way longer than I should have because I was being paid well. But remember, there are always more clients and clients you'll enjoy working with more. So bottom line, you get to choose who you work with. If they don't bring you joy, you have the freedom to let them go. Number four, the client doesn't respect boundaries. Teach them how to treat you with respect from the moment of your first encounter all the way through your relationship. And when they violate those boundaries once, twice, three times, cut them loose. Before you make the final decision to fire a client, no matter what the reason, give yourself time to cool off. And then talk with someone who is not personally involved, but who does understand the VA industry such as a coach or a trusted colleague. And then if after the cooling off period, both you and your advisor believe it's time for you to let them go, do so. Want to find out more about building a profitable virtual expert business that you'll love? Click the link below to watch my free webinar. And also please subscribe to my YouTube channel and then like and comment on this video. Let me know, have you successfully fired a client?